Alright, so this is a this is 100% Mega's Comfort pick. This stage is super popular all throughout Tri-State, and it's probably one of the most common, commonly picked stages in the entire game right now, just due to like how uh, how close it is to being kind of neutral. It's not actually neutral, guys. It's not, but it's pretty close. You can see like Dan is trying his best to keep a certain amount of distance away from. Uh, from Mega, he kind of, it's very clear to see that he understands what Ike's close range is. So he's trying very hard to stay out of it unless he absolutely has to come in. Or if Mega tries to force his way in. Remember, DK is extremely weak, weak in this situation. He has a really tough time coming back to the stage. And is that going to kill? Why does that kill? I know they nerfed his Nair to make it stronger. Uh, which makes him less likely to get Nair to up-air combos, but dude, that's so ridiculous! It has super armor? What? <laughs> uh, that's just the new reality we live in, guys. Okay, yeah, no, take that 40% hit. Just, they just shrug it off, guy. Yeah, it's fine. Went from 75 to 110% times height. All right, good up air. You know, despite like the ridiculousness of that past talk, Dan is getting some solid hits in. But you see the way that Dan is playing the matchup. He's trying to play around Ike's punch. He's trying to play at a range where he knows that if Ike comes in, it's a reactable, and b he's gonna have options that can deal with it, which is very important when you fight a character like Ike. Because Ike does have some really good approaches, especially in the air. Nair is still extremely difficult to punish. Especially if you don't have great options all around that charge. That mostly charge up smash not quite killing. It was so close. But Dan DI'd it perfectly. Not to mention, oh, that weight was not great. But you know what? He's alive. Is what I would say. Why didn't you shield? You forgot? He lost his first stock like that, dude. That's some horse crap! Is he dead? Bro, he's dead. Guys, mash! But mash! The same thing happened with Dave Create. They just didn't mash! He kidnapped him! He was at 60! He shouldn't have died to that! Just, just mash, guys! Okay, you know, good good head bonk. He tried to do the up head bonk, but it wasn't it wasn't quite enough. Is DK about to die? So I really like the giant punches from Dan the Man. He does them in a position that make them very difficult to punish. Uh, but he not. Alright, yeah. We call that the hat trick, boys. That's that's a hat trick. Uh, he just got three. He just got three uppers in there. He just went bonk, 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 and just like that, Dan takes game one. From a kind of ridiculous turnaround, really. Yeah, Mega kind of had the uh, Mega definitely had the lead for like most of that match, and then he decided to kind of throw away his second stock by not like properly by not properly mashing uh, the grab, and then he just kind of got hit and he got laddered, which is pretty hard to do in this game against DK, honestly. You know, Dan the Man actually recognizing the opportunity. Very nice to come this part. And we're going to go direct into game two, which uh, Knowing Mega is almost definitely going to be PS2 for the counter pick. That second, that second stock, dude, where, where Dan the Man lost it to, to up B immediately is kind of hilarious. This is 67% when he got down thrown. When he got Carter down thrown off the stage. <laughs> Alright, good punish of the, uh, the giant punch. Giant Punch is only uh, kind of safe on full charge and if you hit their shield, because it has so much shield stun. But if you whiff that, man, you're going to eat a big ol' punish. Uh, contest for big uh, obviously varies well. But, you know. No counter, okay. I was almost expecting Mega to do runoff counter again. That worked out really well for him last time. So DK is still like a super heavy boy, he still has a very large window where a lot of confirms work on him. You have to actually like land those hits. 
at those windows. A player who understands what those windows are will do their best to avoid them. And now at this point, if he gets hit by Nair, there's a very strong chance that, that will be the stock. Actually, Nair should no longer link into up air. That was one of the big changes, but a very good up tilt to cover the neutral get up. Or not the neutral get up, the uh, ledge get up. I don't know. It feels like I, I feels like Dan's not. He's just looking at uh, at Mega and not necessarily reacting. He's trying to read what he's gonna do, and it's worked several times already. But there's other times when he just kind of stands there and just looks at Mega and, doesn't tr and tries to see through what he's trying to do. Which can be a good thing or a bad thing, honestly. Yo, nice up airs, dude. That move is. That move is doing the work. A 0% shield break. Not gonna be like any sort of actual like... Not gonna end on a stock, but you know what? That's a little bit of a... Uh, it's a bit of damage to the uh, the morale. Not to mention it's uh, some actual damage too, so that's pretty good. And then it's like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try to approach you like very carefully. Yeah, no, upper is not linking into uh, into Nair anymore, bro. You gotta you gotta work on those 50/50s. You gotta guess what they're gonna do. Of course, uh, Ike does have a lot of really good ways to kill. Up tilt is still a very commanding move with a lot of knockback. You can see Dan's kind of taking a moment to collect himself. Remember guys, if you uh, wait on the Angel platform all the way through until the Angel platform disappears, you have almost no invincibility once you get off of it. And a uh, pretty good mash there. What was that mash earlier, bro? I mean, that was kind of a rough situation for Dan there, for uh, for Mega. And Mega is on his uh, if Mega loses his stock, he's gonna be sent directly from Lucius. He's gotta play very smartly if he wants to avoid that one-way trip down to the bottom bracket. But you know what, Dan is like, yo, bro, I'm taking this. I want this to be a 2-0. I want this to be over now. And it's up to Mega to stop that from happening. Okay. Alright. Yo, this movement is kinda nuts right now, bro. What is going on? Oh, and that F smash. You can see Mega's eyes flash right before his eyes. It was like, oh, dude, that was so close to being death. I'm expecting a giant punch like any second. There it is! <laughs> and just like that, uh, Dan the Man takes it too well and moves on to winner's final. Beast is waiting for him. His shield button wasn't working! <laughs> Uh, yeah, Dan, you weren't really shielding, like, uh, at all. You could tell. You did air dodge a few times, I'm assuming you did that with your grab button. Should, uh, reset your controller, dude. Y, X, to start. Yeah, apparently, uh, Dan's shield button wasn't working, which is why he was playing a little stilted sometimes. Which, I mean, that's definitely happened to me. Yeah, you need to, uh, whenever that happens, the best way to fix it is to, to reset your controller. Uh, if you're in bracket, it is going to pause, it is going to pause your game, so you have to be very careful not to do that. <laughs> 